went to another island and... Speak up and you gotta use a clear voice. When Ernie went to another island and he was like worried or scared kind of. He was scared because he left the land of familiar into a new <clears throat> island. Because there was no butterflies on the island he was at. No caterpillar would turn to a butterfly. So let's read. Okay. Ernie got a job doing something he had never done before and began saving up enough money to rent the cocoon space. The job didn't pay much thought, and as the days and weeks passed, Ernie's frustration began to grow. Every morning he thought about giving up and every night he went to sleep discouraged dis, dis, discouraged discouraged that he was still a fat caterpillar with a dream but he kept going until one day he had finally earned enough to rent the space it wasn't it wasn't an easy task squeezing himself into a small cocoon. It seemed that caterpillars in these parts didn't eat quite as much as they did back home, but he finally got in and wait and the waiting began. Months went by and seasons changed while inside the cocoon. Changes were also happening when then happening then one spring day ernie's cocoon began to break apart it broke slowly at first but but ernie quickly became more and more impa impatient. In, impatient shaking the whole branch as he fought to free himself from the cocoon Ernie was more ready than anything to see if it had really worked, and it had. The cocoon broke open wide to reveal that the fat caterpillar had been transformed into a butterfly. Without wings yet, of course, still Ernie could, could almost feel himself flying, but something inside of him had changed too. All the frustration from the waiting and working had been washed away. His dream, be, his dream beat louder than ever, and so he immediately set out for the land where his wings waited for him. Ernie found that although he couldn't fly, already his his steps were lighter. A few hours later, Ernie arrived at the gate of the island that the bug be that the bug behind the desk had described to him. The gate tore tor tor towered. towered high over him, and the the it was guarded. And was guarded by giant ants. Ernie became scared again as he looked down and realized that he was a lot smaller than he used to be. But he just had to get his wings. He couldn't give up now. Ernie mustered, mustered up all the courage he had and said in a loud voice excuse me but i'm here to get my wings sir several several of, several of the ants turned and st startled him stared at him stared at him um i mean to get my wings please ernie said the ants busted out in laughter at the this outspoken outspoken butterfly one of the soldier ants told ernie there was no way he was getting his wings unless he fought 
the ant and won. Ernie was outnumbered, outweighed, out everything. Okay, Ernie said, I'll fight you. The laughter immediately died away and the soldier and the soldier and glared down at him. Ernie tried to talk as thought as thought through he he wasn't afraid, but he knew he wasn't doing a very good job of it. You know what little butterfly normally little butterfly normally I would fight you but I'm pretty impressed at your courage so I'm going to let you have some things without a fight and with that the ant tossed Ernie a new pair of wings Ernie didn't know what to say he had heard about these ants and knew that they never gave up and pair a pair of wings without a fight. Maybe, just maybe, someone was looking out for him. Ernie started down at the wings and then back up at the ant. Back up at the ant. And then he looked back at the wings. You'd better get out of here before I change my mind, little butterfly. Ernie realized that he hadn't moved and quickly said a quiet thanks before before he turned and walked away from the gate. With a pair of wings in his hands, something he never imagined he would be holding, something everybody, everyone told Wait, something he never imagined. He would be holding something everybody told him he would never be able to get. But he had a, he had, but he, really he had. wait, where am I? Right here. But he had, he really had. Ernie gently put the wings on his back and he smiled as he realized that this was what he had been made for. This was a life life he wasn't supposed to wonder about. This was the life he was supposed to live. And with that, Ernie's wings lifted him into the air. The funny thing is Ernie realized his heart had started flying before his feet had left the ground. This was the Go ahead. This was the life he was supposed to live. Okay. That means we are on chapter well chapter. we're not now, we'll read that later, okay? Yeah. Alright, tell everybody thank you. Thank you for listening. Alright. We'll talk